Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Snehal and in today's video we are going to be creating this look. It's a vintage retro look, so let's get started. We are going to start with moisturizing our face. For that, I'm using Garnier Wrinkle Lifts moisturizer. I am going to prime my face, for that I am using Nykaa's Prep Me Up Face Primer. I am just going to prime my T-zone so that uh, my pores get blurred out and my skin looks even toned. Just massage it gently into your skin and let it set for 2 minutes. I am going to use MAX concealer in the shade NC45. I am applying the concealer all over my under eye and over my lids using a flat brush. Also on the pimple marks and pigmentation. I am going to dab a little more with my fingers to get more coverage. Wherever you feel you need more coverage or you have to hide any pimple marks or pigmentation, you can just take some on your fingers and dab it into your skin. I am going to blend my concealer now using the damp beauty blender. You just have to do it in a slow dabbing motions like this. For foundation, I am going to be using MAC Studio Fix Foundation in the shade NC42. I am going to take a little and apply it all over my face. I am going to mix another foundation that is MAC Match Master in the shade 50. You can do it with one foundation also. I generally like to mix foundations to get that perfect shade. Now again using beauty blender, I am going to blend out the foundation completely. Retro look is all about flawless and even toned skin, so you have to really blend out your foundation flawlessly. Make sure you don't forget your neck area and your ears as it will look different if you don't do it. I am done with my base, I am going to set it with the Maybelline's Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. It's very very important to set your base. Set your under eye area properly so it doesn't crease. Now we are going to start with the eyeshadow. I am using Urban Decay's Naked Tree Palette. And I'm using the shade light as my base eyeshadow. To begin with, you just have to blend the eyeshadow all over your lids using the windshield wiper motion using a fluffy brush. Blend the eyeshadow in a circular motion like this. Next, I'm using Urban Decay's Bond to Run eyeshadow palette. I am using the shade Riff as my transition shade. 
I'm creating a crease line here using this shade. Make sure you take a very little product and build it gradually because these are highly pigmented. Next, I'm using the shade Punk on the outer corner of my eye. Using darker shade on the outer corner of your eye gives depth to your eyes. Using a sharp angled brush, I'm gonna take the same shade Punk and I'm gonna create a crease line just the midway. Next, I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to blend out everything. Make sure you do it with a very light hand. You just have to blend out the corners or edges. Next, I'm going to take the shade Strange and I'm going to just pat it on my lids. have to do it using a flat eyeshadow brush. Again I'm gonna blend out any sharp lines or edges. I'm taking the same shade punk that we have used for the outer corner of the eye and I'm gonna just drag it down to my lower lash just the halfway through. Just blend it out. Now using a nice fluffy eyeshadow brush, I am going to blend out everything so no corners or edges are left. Next I am going to be using NYX Cosmetics Eye Pencil in the shade white for my lower lash line. It makes your eyes look more open. For eyeliner, I am using Urban Decay's Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pen. Eyeliner is a very important part of a retro makeup look. Retro makeup look is all about bold eyes. Winged eyeliner is a staple retro look. From the inner corner of your eye you have to start with a slimmer line and you have to make it bold on your outer corner and wing it. Your winged liner's point should be pointing towards your eyebrow line. It is easier to use sketch liners, for beginners I would recommend that they start with the sketch liner. Make sure you fill everything properly and there are no white spots left. For eyebrows, I am using Maybelline New York's Nude Eyeshadow Palette. 
I'm using this shade and I'm just gonna follow my eyebrow line, my natural eyebrow line. I'm just gonna fill my eyebrows. Don't go too dark with your eyebrows because otherwise it looks fake. Now with the help of spoolie brush, I'm just gonna comb and groom my eyebrows. I like to highlight my under eye area and my high points. So for that I'm using Maybelline New York's Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Sand. Again with the help of Damp Beauty Blender, I'm gonna just set it in place. Retro makeup doesn't involve much of contouring so I'm just going to use a bronzer and blush on my face for that I'm using Maybelline's Master Chrome Blush Palette I'm just going to take this darker shade and I'm going to just highlight my cheekbone I'm going to apply some on my forehead too. I'm going to take Maybelline's Color Shop Blush and it's in the shade Fresh Coral. Again take a very little product because it is highly pigmented. Apply it on the apple of your cheeks. Apply it on high point of your cheekbone and take it upwards. Next I am going to be using a highlighter from the same palette on my face. Apply some highlighter on the arch of your eyebrow also. For the lashes, I am using Maybelline's Falsy Push Up Drama Mascara. You have to start applying mascara from the roots of your lashes and start curling it. Again, mascara is a must for a retro makeup look. For lipstick, I'm using Chanel's Rouge Coco in the shade 442 Dimitri. You can never go wrong with red lipstick for retro makeup look. In accessories, I'm just using my pearl earrings to complete the look. I'm gonna keep the hairstyle simple. I'm just gonna use a fabric hairband and leave my hair open. You can also curl your hair for this look to get that bouncy hair look. So that's all for now. I hope this video helped you guys and you liked it. So let me know in the comments down below and do subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next one. Bye.